Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick, and today we have the one and only set number, uh, no number, but it's a set, it just has no number, just kidding, here's the uh, item number down here, 5005359, this is the LEGO minifigure gift frame, and this was a gift with purchase from LEGO.com orders of $75 or more during the month of October, second half, 15th to 31st, I believe. And it was also available in stores, actually, but, you know, it was a LEGO shop exclusive. And, yeah, it's, uh, basically one of these minifigure frames. They've done them for Marvel and the LEGO Batman movie. Uh, they've done them several times before. And they're basically, uh, you know, a frame with a base plate glued in, so you can't remove the base plate, which is a little bit unfortunate, but, you know, I'm okay with it for the fact that now it can actually, you know, stay there and not come undone. Uh, it's actually, like, indented in. It's got this decent cardboard frame around it. Yeah, it's cardboard. It's not, like, wood or anything. It's relatively sturdy, though. Um, it, it feels solid. It feels like there's something inside there, but I don't know what it is. I'm not going to take mine apart and figure it out. Uh, there is a little bit of a... Uh, there's a little panel that comes out of the back. There's a ribbon right here that allows you to, to, you know, or that keeps it from going too far. And, you know, you can just close it in like that. Uh, the ribbon will fold in. Uh, it does have a little Lego logo on the back, as you can see right there. And there is also a little notch in there. So you could put a screw in it or a nail in the wall and you could hang it up on the wall. So, you know, like most picture frames are. Uh, I did not pay the full $75 to get this, by the way. I did just buy it separately for $10. Um, I bought two, actually, because shipping would have been 14 and so, you know. And I figured I have a bunch of minifigures, I can always display them. Uh, you do get 16 little assemblies just like this to attach figures on. I would have liked maybe if they included a couple extras so you could figure out how to reconfigure this yourself so you could squeeze on more figures. Um, you know, it's just at least I would have liked to get 20 so you could be able to put on certain 20 figure series. Maybe the, uh, maybe going with 22 would have been too much, but you know, 20 I think would have been reasonable. Um, the big highlight here is this exclusive figure, which we will take a look at. For being just a random minifigure to include with this uh, gift frame, they certainly did go above and beyond in designing him. The hairpiece that he uses is actually a really, really recent mold introduced with Professor Flitwick in the Harry Potter series. And this is actually a new color as well. It's done in reddish brown. Uh, yeah, it, I'm very happy to, you know, get this part here. It's, you know, it's cool to get a recolor of such a recent piece. I like the sunglasses that he has here. It worked well with his hair as well, you know. Uh, I like that face. He does also have an alternate face, though, which is a really funny expression. Yeah, I like that. And he does come with this really large rubber duck piece, which was introduced to the Lego Batman movie series 1 with Vacation Batman. Uh, very happy to get it here in a regular uh, color scheme with, you know, no bat mask. It's a little weird that the uh, bill is red, but, you know, it's, it's a cartoonish duck. I'm okay with that. Uh, on Or for the legs, he just has dual molded blue and yellow legs. I believe those have existed before. I could be wrong, but, you know, it's always cool to get more of them. I think they were in fun at the beach. Maybe I know there was red and I know there was green in front of the beach, at least I'm pretty sure. Uh, his torso is cool, he's got a little stud muffin shirt, which is uh, kind of funny. Actually it says stud instead of Lego on the stud. It is, it's a cool little shirt to have here. And there is no printing uh, of a logo on the back, but you do get good detailing around there, like even more than I would have expected, to be honest. There's a good amount of fine lines, even down at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. I'm happy with this figure on the whole. Um, you know, I'd be lying if I said that this wasn't one of the main reasons I wanted to get this uh, promotional set. But let's see what it looks like when you fill it up with figures. So there we go. We got a frame filled with Series 17 for, uh, of the Lego minifigures theme. 
I, I picked this series for no particular reason. It's just because it was... I mean, I guess it's because it's the last series that had 16 minifigures in it. But, you know, it's it looks good for what it is. There are some limitations with the parts that they give you. Obviously, you can't fit more than 16 figures. Uh, but, you know, they're spaced out pretty well, I think. You know, they have a decent amount of space to the sides. The one thing that, you know, is a very minor complaint is that there's no way to attach, for example, animals that come in the minifigures theme uh, that, you know, a figure can't hold, like the bulldog right there. And the hot dog guy just doesn't have enough hands to hold all his accessories. Obviously, you're supposed to balance them on the tray, but I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that on a picture frame. You know? So... Maybe it would have been nice to get some, like, one-by-one one brackets, which are new for this year. Maybe it would have been nice to get some of those in order to attach some of the other more, uh, or new stuff on. You could alternatively take the minifigure base plate, for example, and put him on there with his dog. Uh, that's the easiest way to display the figure normally, and you could just put base plates underneath all of them if you so choose. You know, I figured I'd show it like this because this is the more typical way that they show it on the box. But again, either way is an option. But yeah, overall, I'd say that this is definitely a win for a promotional item uh, that you get for free. I'm very happy with my uh, choice to purchase uh, several of these. And yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to be able to fill them all up. If they weren't like $10 each, I probably would have bought. Uh, like if, I mean, I guess I can't say, I can't expect much cheaper than $10 each, but it's like technically $17 each. If they were $10 each available from LEGO directly, I probably would have bought a bunch more and, you know, gotten one for each series. I don't know where I'd display all those, but, you know, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I'm I'm happy with this as a promotional item, uh, bottom line, and yeah, I, I do think that this is a cool way to display these figures, and mm, happy with it on the whole. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, you guys can't go and get these for free from Lego anymore; it's uh, past expired. But if you can get one of these for relatively affordable on the aftermarket, I would still recommend it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know. I have two of these, so which two series do you think would look best on these? Obviously, uh, it's easier to display the 16-figure uh, series. And once I get Series 1, I feel like I'm, that's it's a good idea to display Series 1 on here. Maybe I'd go with Series 1 and then rotate out the newest 16-figure series. We'll see. Uh, I'll figure it out, and maybe I'll show you guys once I figure it out what I'm going to put on these. I've also seen some really other cool things done with it. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.